A very good morning to all. Myself, Dr. Abarna Dangapan from Basilis College, Kodayam. Here we are going to discuss about spin orbit interaction and its derivation for the spin orbit interaction energy. In the cl last class, we have studied about the spectrum of a hydrogen atom. A close examination of uh, the experimental emission spectrum showed that many of the spectral lines are not single lines but closely spaced doublets. In this section, we have discussed about the reason for such doublet structure. The spin orbit interaction uh, is the interaction between the orbital angular momentum L and spin angular momentum S that is the spin orbit interaction. Let's go to the derivation part. If R is the radial distance of a single electron from the nucleus of charge Z E and the electric field at the electron is given by E is equal to Z E divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 R cube into vector R. Note that the electric, we know the electric field 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 cube by r square into unit vector r that unit vector equal to vector r divided by modulus of r hence there is a another term r therefore the denominator has r cube here the vector r here r cube where r is the radius vector moving in this field the electron experience a magnetic field that is given by h equal to e cross v divided by c square where v is the velocity of electron c is the velocity of light replacing e by this one therefore h equal to e z e divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 c square r cube into r cross v and applying the Bohr condition, the angular momentum equal to L star H cut, that is MVR equal to L star H cut. From this, we can find out R cross V. R cross V equal to L star H cut divided by M. Therefore, we can write L star H cut into Z E divided by M C square, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 R cube. Here has the m this m that is the replacing r cross v l star h cut divided by m that is the Bohr condition m v r equal to l star h cut in this way the spinning electron undergoes lama precision around the field direction from the lama theorem the angular velocity of this precision is given by W equal to E H divided by 2 M. Substituting this one into this equation, we can modify the omega that is lama angular velocity of the lama precision that is omega equal to 1 by 2 L star H cut is a D square divided by M square C square into 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 R cube. Now we have to calculate the interaction energy. The interaction energy is the change in kinetic energy of the system due to the precision of the electron around the field direction. Let omega zero be the angular velocity of spinning electron in the absence of magnetic field H. Therefore the corresponding rotational kinetic energy E equal to half I omega zero dot omega zero. But in the presence of the magnetic field, the resultant, resultant precision is superimposed over omega 0. Therefore, the omega 0 is replaced by omega 0 plus omega. That is E equal to, that is, this is not E, E dash. We can uh, modify this one by E dash. This one is E dash. E dash equal to 1 by 2 I omega 0 plus omega 
dot omega 0 plus omega. Therefore, the change in energy E dash minus E equal to half I omega dot omega plus I omega 0 dot omega. Since this omega is very much less than omega 0, we can neglect the first term. This one is, we can neglect this one. Therefore, delta E equal to I omega 0 dot omega. Here, I omega 0 is the mechanical moment or the angular momentum of the spinning electron. That is equal to A star H cut. Thus, the interaction energy is the product of the angular velocity of precision omega and the projection of the spin angular momentum on L star or uh, in the field direction. Therefore, we can write this delta E is delta E suffix L comma S. That is the presence of the, uh, sorry, that is due to the orbital and spin motion. Therefore, we can write this equation as omega S star H squared cos L star S star. And substituting the equation for omega, that is the, this one, into this equation, we can modify delta E L less as E Z E square divided by 2 M square C square H square divided by 4 pi square 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 R cube L star S star cos L star S star. In the field of free space, both orbit and spin motion uh, sorry sorry in the field of free space both orbit and spin are free to move so that L star and S star will persist around their resultant J star L star S star persists around J star therefore we can write J star square equal to L star square plus S star square plus 2 L star S star cos L star S star or L star S star cos L star S star equal to J star square minus L star square minus S star square. This one is minus not plus. My mistake sorry. So we will get the delta T value that is the term value delta T delta E divided by HC That is R alpha square is a raised to 4 divided by N cube L, L plus half, L plus 1. S star square minus L star square minus S star square divided by 2. Or we can uh, denote this term by A. A into J star square minus L star square minus S star square. Therefore, this is the term value T. This is the term value T of any fine structure level. Therefore, we can write uh, the term value capital T equal to T0 plus or minus this delta value. Now, we take an example. For the P level, we know L equal to 1, S equal to half, J value 3 by 2, 1 by 2. For j equal to 3 by 2, we get j star square minus l star square minus s star square divided by 2 value is 1 by 2. That is this, this one. This one is 1 by 2. Therefore, we can write this delta is 1 by 2a. Delta is 1 by 2a. And for the case of 2p half, this delta is equal to minus a. So we can see that this t0, this is the hypothetical term value for the center of gravity of the doublet. And this delta gives the shift of each fine structure level from t0. Therefore, 2p3 by 2 has uh, a by 2 shift and 2p half has a shift. And similarly for the case of D level.